Hey, what is up everybody, Blades for here, and today I have for you guys another video of P5X here. Inside today's video, guys, we're going to be going over the newest things that just dropped pertaining to the newest version, as well a new character and some new game modes coming out. So if you guys are interested in things like this, be sure to sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. Also, we're almost at 3K subscribers, so be sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, it really does help me out a lot, and of course it shows that you guys like to see videos like these. But anyways, let's go ahead and jump straight in. So today was a release, or at least yesterday was a release of a lot of news, especially on Billy Billy here, where not only did we get to see the new character that's going to be coming out, Minami, or at least we get to actually see what she fully can do with some translations here, as well as um what her whole uh, update's going to have in general. So we're going to go ahead and swap over to that real quick here. And we got a lot to cover. I mean, a lot to cover. Um, I was not expecting a lot of things to actually drop here, but seeing, let's see if we can get our screen seen here. I think it's like up on the screen now, but um, yeah, we have a lot in here that was actually released. So of course we already knew that the character themselves was coming out here or, um, and it was going to be kind of interesting. I think her name is Marion now, actually, I thought it was Minami at first, but no, it's actually kind of different now, but, um, we are going to be looking at this here now. I think you guys should be able to hear. Yeah, okay. But the character, Phil trailer ended up dropping. One of the few things that I actually ended up missing along with the skills. So I'm very, very excited to see exactly what she can do here in which we do have our translations right next to us as well. Now, let's see. Now, from what I know, this character is going to be a bless type character here. And not only is a bless, but is also going to be a character who actually has some decent type heals here. So I am fairly, fairly interested to see exactly um, how things are going to be going here. From what I'm looking at here, she actually can deal some decent damage that can actually give her some nice stacks of recovering with her bless uh, heals. And then also has a lens as well. So, of course, Marion is her actual code name here. And then, of course, she has her um, persona, which is named, I think, Thalia, um, or Thalia, uh, Thalia, I think it is. But um, for the first skill here, which we're going to be looking at immediately, or at least I think this was the, let me make sure, I think the A0. Yes, okay, so this is the awareness skill. This awareness skill is called nursing assessment here, in which at the beginning of the turn, if any fancy thief is below 50% HP, she will gain a stack of nectar in which each stack of nectar increases um, Marion's maximum HP by 10% up to a maximum of two stacks. Now, I find that pretty darn interesting because this can actually be very, very helpful um, to at least to those people who just want to run straight into battle. Now, of course, necessarily wise, you might not be always at that uh, point of 50%, but I mean, I guess it kind of promotes you to want to go into the battle at 50% because then you're able to get those nectar stacks kind of early and be able to at least do more healing in the long run. Now going to her second skill, or at least her first skill here, is going to be Suzeron Revelation, in which Marion deals less damage to one enemy. This then will grant all allies one stack of blessing effect and grant her a stack of nectar. Pretty much with this, the characters with a stack of blessing effect will recover 1% of their maximum HP at the end of the turn. And as we do know with the nectar stacks here, she's able to actually increase the maximum HP um, by 10% up to a maximum of two stacks thankfully, with her actual passive. Her second skill over here being another um, buff skill here, or at least being a heal skill immediately, it's called Healing Blessing, in which Marion heals two allies and cleanses two elements from them. The healed allies also gain one stack of Blessing effect. Additionally, Marion will gain herself one stack of Nectar, and this will actually help her out even more, coming down to her next skill, which uh, I do find a little bit interesting as well, being a nice old huge heal. So her third skill, which is a single target heal immediately here, is called Spring's Gift. Consuming all the nectar stacks that she has, Marion's first heal, she will end up healing the target ally, then applying a stronger healing effect to the ally with the lowest percentage of the team. So as you can see right here, she heals the first person. Then she will heal the next person on your team as well, um, just to make sure that they're at full capacity for the HP and all in all. 
The more nectar that is consumed, the greater the amount that is going to be restored of the second healing. So as you can see with the second healing, we got a lot more as well. Like the first healing was also decent. It was meant for her and the person that she targeted. But the second healing here, it was actually a little bit more. And that's going to be actually be based off of the, uh, what's it called? Ooh, the more nectar stacks that you do have ready. So it's better to at least have a ton of nectar stacks stacked up here to make sure you're getting some nice healing off that second heal. Additionally, other teammates will receive the maximum health increase lasting two turns based on the number of nectar consumed. Now, of course, we still have to go over the highlight here in which the highlight, look at that. So we get a big, a big heal as well. Now the highlight looking kind of nice. I'm loving how this one actually looks actually. Um, very, very nice. I can see it as like, a if you guys played anything 7DS related, kind of like King's Pollen Garden here, but um, we have it called Marion, or at least her highlight in general. She will actually restore a large amount of HP to allies, increasing the maximum HP of skills main target and the main target who actually will also receive additional HP regain after taking an action lasting one turn. So she does give that little passive heal as well to at least the main target that she wants to heal, of course, and which is very, very nice, as you can see. So if we go ahead and look, oh, they don't even show it here, but she'll be able to give you some nice healing off of there. Now, of course, you have her punch, you have her uh, whole punch combo, and then you have her all out attack coming out with this stylish look here. Definitely gotta say that's probably one of my favorite looks here. I'm not gonna lie, that all out attack is kind of clean. Like, if, if I'm being dead honest, that looks nice. That looks really, really nice. Definitely like how this one is. Probably gonna pick her up at least once. But this isn't all that was released here. No, 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 no. We have more that actually released with this. In fact, we ended up having this. Now, if you guys can see this on my screen, at least my screen, I missed the live stream fully, but this here, if you guys have played HSR, is pretty much simulated universe. Yes, about freaking time, I'm happy. This is one of the rogue modes that are gonna be coming out here in which we did see some beta of it. Um, It was a very long time ago, but pretty much it's literally the same thing, right? You go into the train, you hop out the train, you fight a shadow, stuff like that, right? Each shadow that you end up fighting gives you a buff in which you guys will see a buff on my screen like this here. This buff will be like one of them that you can choose from. There's countless other ones such as like this one here um, that you guys can be possibly getting and things like that. And each of these are gonna do something crazy. Now with this of course in mind, I'm excited because this is finally something else that we can actually do here and which can give us some more things to look at. Now, I don't know if this is a permanent event, if it is a um, this event that's gonna come and go but I do hope it's a permanent one here because if this is a permanent thing, they can just continuously add on to it, just like simulated universe as usual. And this would be absolutely fun. Give us something to actually challenge ourselves with other than just the velvet room. All in all though, I think this is really, really good here. And I'm very excited to at least see, um, what's it called? How things do go down here. So without further ado, you guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do smash that like button, which for here, because you're subscribing if you are new we're going to be continue doing our videos. Sorry that I didn't upload yesterday. When I say I was actually just swarmed with work, I mean, utterly swarmed with work. There was nothing I could do to get out of that. Um, But today I'm going to try and get a double upload out. We're going to be streaming most likely on the weekend because that's when I usually have a lot of my time here. But for now, hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Peace out.